Happy World Wildlife Day! Let's travel along the coast to visit some of our state park interpreters and learn a bit about the amazing wildlife that lives in California state parks and in our nearby marine protected areas. Hi there, my name is Erica and welcome to Asilomar State Beach and the Asilomar State Marine Reserve. Today I'm out here in the Rocky Intertidal exploring the tide pools and I'm really excited to introduce you to one of my favorite tide pool creatures named the Sunburst Anemone. Now around the outside of the anemone you'll see those purple tentacles. Those capture food and push the food into the center of the anemone's body. Right there in the middle of the oral disc is the anemone's mouth. My name is Kat and today I'm coming to you from McCarricker State Park. I'm also standing right in front of the McCarricker State Marine Conservation Area, a marine protected area or MPA for short. Now MPAs are wonderful places to go wildlife watching because there's so much life here. You never quite know what you might see. Today I can see a group of harbor seals. Now these incredible animals have the ability to close their nose before they dive underwater, which is particularly helpful because these animals can spend a long time underwater, up to 40 minutes. Martha here with California State Parks at Natural Bridges State Beach in Santa Cruz. This rocky tidal shore is a marine protected area or MPA, a place that's a safety zone where nothing can be collected or taken and so the animals can grow up. Here all kinds of wonderful animals can survive and thrive including one that's quite camouflaged on the rock. It is called an owl limpet. This large hat-shaped animal is a snail-like creature with a big foot and as a male, when it's little, it just eats algae off the rock. But then it changes into a female and she needs to eat more. So she begins pushing anything that's in her way off to make this big farm where golden diatoms can settle and she can eat. Think about celebrating World Wildlife Day at a marine protected area. My name is Daniel and I'm a California State Park interpreter here at Point Lobos State Marine Reserve one of our marine protected areas, or MPAs, along the California coast. And beneath the surface of the ocean right here is a giant kelp forest, thriving with life. And I have the fortunate discovery right here of finding this lodged in the rocks. Let me bring it up to the camera. It's the shell of one of the animals that live in the giant kelp forest. The red abalone, a flattened sea snail that plays a very important role in the food web of the giant kelp forest. It's a kelp eater and seaweed eater, and it in turn feeds the sea otter, fish like the cabazon, sea stars, and even octopus. My name is Robin Hazard, and I'm here at Hurston Simeon State Park on the beautiful central coast of California. And adjacent to this park, we have a marine protected area, or MPA. This is the Piedras Blancas MPA. You can also see that I have a couple of guests behind me. This is the Northern Elephant Seal. And MPs are a great place to experience wildlife because this wildlife is able to remain wild. We're keeping wildlife wild and being able to recreate responsibly around them, enjoying them from a distance. A couple of cool things about the Northern Elephant Seal is that they're able to dive to depths of over 5,000 feet for up to two hours rarely coming up to the surface for only about four minutes of time in between dives. The other cool thing about northern elephant seals is that when they're pups, they're actually nursing from their mothers and they can gain up to 10 pounds a day. 10 pounds a day, reaching up to 300 pounds total. My name is Parker and I am coming to all of you today and I'm here this state park. More specifically, I am here at Cash Cayenne State Marine Conservation Area. And this marine protected area is home to a number of different wildlife species. And today we are going to discover one of my absolute favorite species from this all this place there. And one of the features we're going is on this structure. Wow! Look! It's the California mussel! This invertebrate species is incredible. The mussel attaches to the pylons and even rocks by using fibers that we call thistle threads. The mussels are super strong and seal when not covered with water to protect from the elements. 
I mean, could you imagine living in such a harsh environment where the waves crash all day and the sunlight and surrounding air beams down on you? One of the most interesting facts about the California mussel is that it filters two to three liters of water every hour to collect its food. Hi there, I'm Angie, and I am an interpreter for the North Coast Redwoods District of California State Parks. And today I'm at Humboldt Lagoon State Park. Now I think this place is the perfect park to celebrate World Wildlife Day because this beach is habitat for the threatened and incredibly cute Western snowy plover. Now here on the North Coast, we're lucky that snowy plovers inhabit, breed, and nest in many of our coastal state parks and they take advantage of the abundance of food provided by our local marine protected areas. Snowy plovers are a vulnerable species because they actually make their nests out in the open on beaches like this one. So I have here an example snowy plover nest, which shows that the eggs are laid right in the sand and barely camouflaged and hidden by some beach rack that you could find on a North Coast beach like you see here. Having their nests out in the open like this makes the eggs, chicks, and adult snowy plovers very vulnerable to disturbance and predation. So some examples of disturbance would be dogs, uh, maybe running around on the beach, off-road vehicles, driving on the beach, and even fireworks that are common in our summer months during their breeding season. Fun fact about snowy plovers, their life expectancy in the wild is between two and four years. But thanks to the environmental scientists and wildlife biologists who have been monitoring our population of North Coast snowy plovers for the last several years, we are excited that we have an individual who celebrated their 19th birthday last year. We hope to see that individual back this year for a 20th birthday celebration. Um, but on behalf of the North Coast Redwoods District and all of the wildlife lovers that work and live here, happy World Wildlife Day. Hi everybody, welcome to Sea Cliff State Beach. My name is Ashley and Sea Cliff is part of the Monterey Bay National Marine Sanctuary. And the sanctuary is a great place to experience wildlife because the cold, nutrient-rich waters attract animals from long distances that come here to feed. We're going to focus on one animal that's found in the sanctuary today, the opalescent nudibranch. A nudibranch is a type of sea slug that feeds on sea anemones and hydroids. Sea anemones have stinging cells called pneumatocysts, and uh, when a nudibranch eats an anemone, the unfired cells get transferred to the nudibranch that can be used as part of their defense system. My name is Alex Anderson here at Crystal Cove State Park, a California state park down here in Southern California in Orange County. I'm standing in our Marine Protected Area, or MPA, in a tide pool habitat. MPAs are wonderful places to explore and discover new wildlife, like the chameleon of the sea, our two-spot octopus. Two-spot octopus are named for their bright, false blue eye spots underneath their real eyes, and they can change their color to blend in with their surroundings, as well as their texture to look like a clump of seaweed. These highly intelligent animals have a very short lifespan of only two years. Maybe to celebrate World Wildlife Day, go out, find your local MPA, and discover some new marine ocean wildlife. Happy World Wildlife Day. 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 Happy World Wildlife Day.